this is Kim with Mom's Creative Moments, and I'm trying something just a little bit different this time and letting you kind of see who I am at the beginning. I am bringing you the promised finished product of our back to school, the back to school album that I've been putting together. So let me show you. Okay, so here we go, and this is using the new composition album cover that came out with Back to School, which I just love, since it looks just like a composition notebook. And um, I went ahead and did my titles, as you can see. So my title page that we put together um, just a couple months ago is um, now completed with, with my title that I cut on my Cricut. Um, and this is using a DJ Inkers font, which I just love their fonts. They're really, really fun. Um, and I don't know, I, I just thought it would be appropriate because they, a lot of teachers use their stuff for things. So I just thought it'd be appropriate, especially in this book. So uh, one of the things I wanted to mention right off the bat is you'll notice how thick this album is. This is a very thick album and I don't recommend that you make your albums with this many pages but I wanted to include everything um, in one album instead of having more than one so this is what I'm left with. Um, what this is going to mean is that uh, because I have made books in the past when I was on more of a budget um, that were this size it means my book is significantly heavier than a normal album might be. Um, it also means that my binding likes to pop out. Of course, this binding has only just barely been in here, maybe just a f 10 or 15 minutes because I just put it on. But um, so keep that in mind when you are creating your album. If, um, if you have as many pages as I have in here, um, you, it, it does create a couple of issues. The other issue is because of some of the things that I have in my album, you'll notice it doesn't sit completely flat. And we knew that was going to happen. Remember when I put that puffed up um, 87 in there that had been on the front of my graduation album um, that I had made when I was 18. Um, I knew it was going to, this was going to happen, but I just wanted you to see, you know, as a result of all of the additional pages, pocket pages, that puffed up piece, which you can tell is right in, yeah, somewhere right in there. Um, you know, it just, it all adds and it all makes your album a little bit, um, a little wonkier than I would, would have liked. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and flip through. We've got preschool. You'll notice I did all of my years. Um, and added those in. You might also notice that there's a few additional embellishments here and there, which I did add after the fact, but most of these pages um, you did with me, so, or watched me do. Um, I wanted to go ahead and put on my fast or my uh, peekaboo pockets while I have you on this video. So let me just show you a cute little trick. If you have additional embellishments that are popped up with Foam, um, foam squares. The best way to adhere your embellishments is to take a piece of cardstock. Any piece of cardstock will do. Just put it on both sides of your page and then take your page protector and it will slide right on, right over both of those pieces of cardstock and you won't have to worry about the um, embellishments getting hung up on on your page protector as you're trying to put it on and then you just reach in grab that piece of cardstock and pull it right on out and you are good to go see how easy that is now um, our peekaboo pocket that we've made eons ago do you remember <laughs> this has adhesive all along this top little slip right here and it has a little piece of plastic that you just have to peel off like a band-aid to reveal that adhesive. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just decide where this is going to go. Now I'm going to put this along the top edge, I think, of my page. 
so it may stick out just a smidgen but actually I don't have to have it stick out I'm going to I'm going to actually move it in just a hair so that it is even with the outside of my page and stick it right on there okay then it can be flipped up to see the information on the underneath very very easily and it won't interfere with the binding over here either so there's that one um, we're just gonna flip through here's an here's a pocket page one of the first pocket pages I did here's one of the eight and a half by eleven sleeves that has that double-sided um, document that I wanted to be able to view here's another peekaboo pocket that I need to adhere so I'm going to just for ease get, grab my cardstock and stick in here like so grab my page protector slip that over top of everything come on now page in the back doesn't want to play nice there we go slip that right on grab my cardstock both sides come on there we go so we've got that in there and this one I'm going to adhere vertically almost like it's an extra page in the center of my book so just going to peel off and reveal the adhesive on this edge. Ooh, static. Get off. Okay. Um, and then this one I'm just going to, like I said, just going to make it match at the top and the bottom of my page. And stick it on here. You'll find if you use these peekaboo pockets that the adhesive is pretty forgiving. If you set it down where you want it, or you think you want it and then you kind of look at it and go, oh no, I got it crooked. Or you decide, oh shoot, I wanted to put it on a different page and I didn't realize it. Then you can usually go right back and lift it right back up and move it where you want it. Um, I wouldn't do that, you know, after it's been sitting there for several days. But if you do it right away, it doesn't usually make too big of a, of a difference. Here's another pocket page, a little shorter pocket page that we did. Another eight and a half by eleven sleeve. And just move through this fairly quickly because you can see all of these pages on my other back to school videos. Some of them are um, pages I assembled and showed you how and you watched while I did it and some of them are pages that um, that I did in other videos like this particular one is a um, a back to school project recipe so you'll see you'll see this one in the project recipes without the photographs of course <clears throat> flipping through Here's another one I need to adhere the or a peekaboo pocket to. So let's go ahead and get our cardstock in place. Here's my protective sleeve. Oops. Sometimes I have heard people complain that putting on the, the page protectors is kind of a bear or they feel like it's unnecessary. And I like to remind folks of a story that I, of a, of a real life story that I heard from a CM advisor back when I was first starting um, my journey as a scrapbooker using Creative Memories products. And she said that she accidentally she'd gone to a class she'd brought all her things in the back of her car and she had um, unfortunately not latched her trunk 
completely and after the class she had decided to go and get her car washed and when she did that what happened was it um, it caused her trunk to leak and she ended up with water soaking all of her her um, scrapbook materials in her trunk. All of her completed albums that she brought as samples were completely soaked. But because she had page protectors on all of her pages, the water just ran right off and she had very minimal damage to any of her albums because um, because of the page protectors that she'd remember, remembered to put on all of her pages. The rest of her materials were pretty much um, meant for the trash bin, but hers her albums were safe. So ever since then I make sure and put on my page protectors even though they're a little difficult. So this one is a smaller peekaboo pocket. Remember this is that postcard and it just goes on the same way that the larger ones do and you can put it right in the middle of your page wherever you want it and it will just be happy there. So I haven't done most of my journaling, you'll notice, in this, but um, I will go back and do my journaling before I put my the rest of my page protectors on. So never fear. It will get done. So here's another 8.5 by 11 sleeve. This is an, a portion of that magnetic album that all of my memorabilia had been in. You can see how yellowed and nasty it is. And this piece of memorabilia was the order form for all my senior stuff. And I could not get it off. It was it tore multiple places as I was trying to, to remove it from this. But it was stuck down so much. And in fact, you can see the adhesive from the page that has seeped through in lines across the document that's on this paper. And so I just cut around it and took all the, I took all the plastic off the outside and I just cut around it and just let, slip that into a protective sleeve so it's not going to bother any of my other um, memorabilia in this book, but I just, I wanted to keep this, so maybe it's the the, um, my grandfather in me because he was a banker and he used to keep the detailed notes of expenditures which were fascinating to go back and see later. So I wanted to keep this but um, this is the only way that I could think of to be able to salvage it um, was to put it in this sleeve. So there we go with that. Here we have prom which you'll notice I added a little bit of title work to <clears throat> oh, and this mask, I also, I had used the photo tape on it to try to keep it adhered to my page. But what I found was after it sat here for a few days, um, it the, even the photo tape wasn't keeping it attached. So I added, um, I've attached it with foam squares underneath. Those have some primo adhesive, let me just say. I have not had a problem since I used the foam squares using that or adhering that mask to my page so just just a little tidbit of information to help you out here i have another <clears throat> another piece in a peekaboo pocket and i need to decide where this is going to go which i hadn't really fully decided before which is probably not <clears throat> the best but you know that's okay i think i'm going to put it right there that way, um, when I get some of my, um, some of those graduation embellishments I mentioned the other day, um, I can add those to my corners out here. So let's, actually I don't think I have anything popped up on either of these pages. I don't. So I'm just going to slip this on. I don't really, I don't really need the help from my cardstock if, if I don't have anything popped up with foam squares, embellishing the pages on either side. So I'm going to slip this on and I can easily reach underneath this to um, add embellishments 
when I have those, so I'm not too worried about that. I did adhere, let me see, did I adhere? I thought I did, maybe that's just so snug in there it's not moving around. If you have a piece of memorabilia, you put in a peekaboo pocket, maybe it's not exactly the size of your peekaboo pocket, sometimes you can add just a little bit of adhesive on the peekaboo pocket, or on the item inside the peekaboo pocket, and it helps it not shift around quite so much, which is, which is nice if you, you know, if it's smaller and as pages get turned, it can shift and may, you might not want that, so. Just another little idea. Graduation, circumstance, and pomp. I know it's supposed to be pomp and circumstance, but spacing wise, I didn't have that. So I just switched it around for fun. All right, almost done. This has been such a fun project to have you along for. And I do sincerely hope that it has helped you get excited about doing a back to school project of your own for you or for a loved one. Also, if you have, if you're a grandparent or if you, you know, are thinking of doing a back to school book, but you think something like this is too big of a project for you, stay tuned. There will be another video in this series um, using a smaller album that I can show you real quick. This is our happy album size. And I'm gonna show you how you can do a back to school album simplified where it's basically a one and done. You can sit down and do all of the pages, put all of the accent papers in this, all of the embellishments, everything that you need into this book. And then each year you can add one or two photos, one on the first day of school, maybe one on the last day of school, or from a significant event during the year. You can document favorite things, you can document, you know, best friends and different things that happen during the year, all in a happy album size book where you just have one two page spread for each year of school. It's perfect and it's very fast. So that'll be a fun project that I'll share with you again in the coming weeks. Um, but don't look for it next week because we've got holidays coming with Thanksgiving and stuff. So I'll be focusing on that. But just so you know, if you want to do a quick project, maybe for your grandkids, this is perfect. Um, anyway, I am so happy I was able to share this with you. And until next time, I wish you many more creative moments. Have a great day.